Yes, we are back for another Saturday Night Live. I tell you what, I do hate these headphones. I really do. Anyway, what's going on this evening? Well, don't forget, next week is the Nitro show. So we thought we'd throw a show together this evening for the Quadaholics. Um, at the moment, they're missing. They were on the missing list. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's just me. It's just me. But anyway, Taz, how you doing? How you doing? Well, we got Michael running through the door. Hi, Michael. Victor having a coffee. Oh, yes, have Victor's um, actually working, but he's uh, popping in for a coffee. Uh, Mike, how are you doing? And Pilot Jerry, how are you doing? Hi, guys. Um, nice tune, Chris. What's the name of it? Uh, what's the name of that tune? Yes, I know you're going to ask me that. I do like it. It's called, it's called, uh, it's called, it's called, I'll, I'll let you know later on. <laughs> it's, I downloaded it. I should really put the, the song title in the uh, description, but I do like it. It's, it's, uh, it reminds me of when you're flying at uh, FPV, not that I've done a lot of that recently. But I mean, what is going on? I mean, all this week and all next week, it's just teeming down with rain. I mean, come on, what is going on? I mean, it's a good thing, really, because I've been doing a kitchen. I've been building the wife a kitchen. You know, happy wife, happy life, fly when I want. But unfortunately, for the last three weeks, for the last three weeks, oh, was this? Oh, okay. For the last three weeks, um, I've left out on the Friday night. Um, um, uh, videoing, which, uh, which you know, that Friday feeling, you still need that Friday feeling. I need that Friday feeling, and I haven't been able to have it because I've been building this darn kitchen. But don't forget, well, don't worry, it's coming back. Next Friday, uh, we're going to continue with the Corsair. Um, but anyway, so uh, what I wanted to do last night, I wanted to do a little unboxing. Um, and of course, I wanted to catch up with David and Deborah. But I believe they're still on the, the missing list. They are. David said he might not be able to make it because he had suddenly uh, a family thing going on. And Deborah um, is hiding from me. 
So you just got me. So it'll only be a quick one. I mean, don't forget next week. I mean, next week's show is going to be a stonger. So make sure it, I'll put it out there sort of during the week. Um, I mean, but who we got next week? I mean, we have got uh, the fantastic Captain Blas. He's back in the place. Um, who else we got? We have got Stuart Warren. He's going to be with us as well. And also Rob from the RC Pilots Log. They're all going to be here next week. Uh, they're not going to go missing. They are going to be here. That is going to be a fantastic show. Uh, we might even have a couple of giveaways. So make sure you're there. That will be the next Saturday Night Live, which is the next week. Which would be... What's the date today? Let's have a look. Just in case someone's watching this afterwards and gets all excited. So it is the 8th today, which will make that the 15th. Yes, Saturday the 15th. Sunday, great weather. Going to be a barbecue out and fly. Is it really? I mean, I don't know for me on Sunday. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, Taz. Let's, let's have a look at the weather, man. If I can find it. Here we go. Oh, no. Hello. Here we go. Sunday. Sunday is... Uh, hi, Wayne's RC. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Sunday is just cloud for me. So it could have been... It could be uh, flying weather, I guess. Um, but uh, I'm, my daughter's doing more work. But she's just moved. But anyway... I'm still missing. I'm missing Deborah. I'm missing David. So I think what we could do, we could go with the unboxing um, and a bit of a chit chat uh, if you want. Um, yeah, let's go for an unboxing. So I'm going to change cameras. Here we go. Blas is oh Blas. Oh look, we got this is meant to be David. Uh, this is meant to be someone else. So let's let's. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. There we go. Let's get rid of that one. Um, Captain Blas. I mean, wow, what a walking knowledge base of nitro engines. Uh, you know, I, I watched the video back uh, just to get some pointers uh, uh, about nitro engines. Um, and I've actually got a nitro engine to show next week that I've got. Um, but that's all next week. That's all it is. I just want to do an unboxing today. I mean, we was going to talk about some quads and hopefully beta flight uh, for the uh, stingy build and stuff. But um, unfortunately, these things happen. Now, if, if, uh, if my voice or picture was all crap, then please let me know. If not, I'll crack on. So what have we got now? We have got an FR Sky. Now obviously this came in a box, but I took it out of the box, but I haven't opened it. Just waiting for you guys. Now, let's look at this, look at this. I should have a drum roll really, shouldn't I? But anyway, ooh, hello. Did you like the way I did that? Look. Mike, you should be saying every show's a good show. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> every show's different, but yes. Last week was gonna was was fantastic, but next week is gonna be even better because uh, Robin Stewart Warren with Captain Blas and myself uh, is gonna be a rocket of a show. It really, it really is. But anyway, we're all about the unboxing. What have we got? Oh, I'm such a tease. Oh, 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 oh! Look, you can see bits. You can see, 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 see. Ah, it's a radio. Yes, it's a radio. And what kind of radio is it? It's the new FR Sky X20S. So I haven't had this out of the box. I have been so frustrated. I thought I want to get it out of the box, but no. So what do we get? There should be some bits and pieces in here, but we'll have a look anyway. So a nice, uh, what do we get? This is the combo. The second show. You should go back and watch the other shows, Mike. But I appreciate you here, sir. I really do. I really, really do. God, I love Captain Blaz. They are, they are, I watch their every, every video. I've watched them since, since I started doing this. Was it a year ago? Something like that. Wow. They lift your day up. They really do. So anyway, you want to know about the X20S? Well, you get a, a strap here yeah, from one of those things. Now, this is the combo pack. Um, it comes with a nice little, oh, where are we? I'm not up there. I'm up here and on. <laughs> they come with little things, you know, put on the knobs and stuff, which I like. And it comes with the new R8 Pro from FR Sky. Now, you're probably not going to be able to, I can't get it in focus. Sorry, guys. If I can... Is it going to focus for me? Probably not. Uh, but it's kind of weird because on here it says Access, OTA, Archer, and uh, two R's. Uh, I forgot what that was. But anyway, it's the All Singing R8 Pro. But that comes with, like, the combi pack. But the radio is phenomenal. I've, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Um, I, as you know, if you watch uh, other shows, you've seen that uh, I put Ethos, which is the new FR Sky OS operating system. Um, it's a bit like uh, OpenTX, but on steroids. It's really, really cool. And I've got that on my X10, if you've seen that. So 
when it comes, it comes in a bootloader boot loader mode. Um, uh, it doesn't come with a, uh, you've got to put it on it. So you download it, the latest version. It's still being updated as we speak. Um, they have got solid ones, but they keep adding stuff, which is fantastic. Now look at this. Look at this for a sexy, sexy radio. I had to uh, 3D print these from my, from my X10. Now the difference between the, uh, is, is, I don't know if it's a good shot. Is that a good shot? Is that a good shot? It's upside down, isn't it? <laughs> Stop spinning it around, Chris. Now the X, the X20S uh, comes with all CNC gimbals. It is hall sensors, but it's all CNC. Uh, so it's all metal, no plastic at all. Uh, what's what's that? What's that, Chris? What the fudge? That looks. Oh right, it's the <laughs> it's the new FR Sky X20. Now you can get the X20. It'll probably cost you a couple hundred quid. Uh, they've only just come out. Um, it's and it's the new OS. You cannot put OpenTX on it. This is uh, it's it's you know I'm sure someone will find a hack, but um, it comes honestly if you. If you Google, um, oh, it's a beautiful radio. It comes in black as well, but I like the blue. Um, hey, Shadow Ops. Now, Shadow Ops, he, he wasn't able to do with, with me the show tonight, but he's, he's popped on to say hello. We miss you, Eric. Well, I miss you. As you can see, um, Deborah and David have left me as well. They're, you're all leaving me. I'm all alone. I feel quite sad. But I don't, I don't need, I don't know. I'll tell you what, I don't need these on, do I? Because no one's talking about me. Too hot. I think oh, I thought the humidifier was on. Right. Anyway, so more about the um, X20s. Um, yeah. So it just it is so sexy. I mean, we can do some more videos about this. This was literally just an unboxing um, because I thought we'd be chatting to David and Deborah. So it's probably going to be a short one, guys. But it's everything about it is sexy. Now the tw the, the the great thing about this, you've got the two end. Let's see if I can. You've got the two antennas that can go. Either there's one there. It's the it's a 2.4 and a 900 megahertz radio, so it's a it's a dual band. So there's the other one on there. I just totally lost it. That's all right, buddy. I can I can I can I can today is just not next week. All oh, right, okay. Well, pop on, pop on and say hello. You, you've got the link right in here. Is the and the best thing now. There is. Uh, your ports, which is about time they do that. Now, if you notice there, there is going to be an HD version of this, and apparently it can uh, sync up with your goggles or something for FPV. Um, it's meant to be zero latency HDMI. Um, so they haven't brought the HDMI version out, which they call the uh, X20 HD. Um, but keep a look out for that one, especially like yourself, like Taz, um, if you if you're willing to get into another. Uh, operating system. Um, I mean, have a look at. Uh, there's some videos out there on Ethos. Um, I used it on when I'm powering up the Corsair the other day. That was Ethos running, and it's very simple. I mean, it's got to be for me anyway. But uh, yeah, so about time. So you got the normal, the normal jacks and bits and pieces you, um, and stuff. I, uh, and the you also got. Oh yeah, it's the same really as every every other. Um, it is. It's a lovely radio. The only thing that's upset me about this if I can get it, is the back port. So like it's a mini. So I'm, it's, you're going to be stuck for either your R9 or um, a couple of the other ones that you use for FPV or long range. So presumably um, they're going to bring out um, they're going to bring out their own sort of like uh, uh, things that you can stick on the back there. But I would have thought they'd done the original, but it's FR Sky, they've gone, they went really funny, didn't they? Um, you know, when... Uh, a couple of the other radios. I can't remember the name of the radio that came out, but uh, battery is your um, is basically four thousand milliamp. You can't see that, but it's basically a four thousand milliamp, seven point four volt, twenty six point six watt hours. Um, so a nice little lipo, and it's really easy to take in and out for once, which is fantastic. the The actual radio itself, when you hold it, is light as anything. I will put some specs down on it afterwards, but it's a really good feeling radio it's lighter than the x9d yes it definitely is the x9 plus but it's just oh it's, it's got just lots of lots of funky buttons I, I you know to do stuff and it's it's i can't i can't stress enough how sexy this is it feels sexy when you hold it you've got all your buttons available and then me with my little chubby checkers you know can get in all the switches and crash and do bits and pieces so i like that it's a it's a good 
feel, you know, when you when you feel about it. I mean, especially now is that I've learned because of um, turn it on. It it's in bootloader mode, Taz. Um, because I wasn't expecting to be alone this evening, I didn't set up my computer so I could put the ethos on it. But when I turn it on, it will come up in bootloader mode probably. Welcome to ethos. Throttle not idle. Okay. Switch warning. Fail uh, safe not set. Okay, yeah, okay, so hang on. It does come with uh, ethos on it. I lied! Maybe this is the model. So press, there you go. Now, I don't know if this is, this is probably not set up, no. So it's really hard to actually see now isn't it I wonder if I can it's yeah there's your model menu now I'm sorry guys I didn't realize I was going to do this this evening so it's really crap so I apologize oh but oh also this touch screen and it's a really annoying touch screen oh that's loud um it is so I'm going to do a video on this guys so don't worry about it so you can even use it with the annoying beep that I'm will go and turn off uh, but it's also touch screen so you can go into your, your menus and your trims and everything else it ethos is fantastic i it's i don't know it's it, to me it's mm, we'll get there be careful i say things here <laughs> it's I, I mean look at well, the spectrum the guys in spectrum and how they do their radio and looking at open tx um, I would say that this this is top. It is so easy to operate. It really, really, really is. Um, it's just got. It's, it's, I've got to do a video. Don't worry. I'm going to do a video of this soon about everything. So, sound and vibrate. That I can't hear what was saying. So let's just turn that volume down. There we go. Yeah. Okay. It's not the right my main volume. Main. There we go. It's <laughs> loud. So, as I say, you go back and it's touch screen and uh, brightness. Uh, let's turn the display up. Maybe if I turn up the brightness, there you go. That's better, better for you, isn't it? Hey, EQ, how are you doing? Will Uthos work with old receivers? I've been told it does, yes. It works with all the, um, the X range, the S8X, the ones we use anyway. As I say, I, I mean, don't forget... Um, Ethos, I was using it on my X10 when we when we uh, powered up the um, Corsair, and that was that that was the uh, 8, 8, 8, X8R or whatever it was. Uh, yeah, it does use that. It used both both protocols on um, 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 Ethos. I let you can change that black and white as well. Oh, that's a nice one. Not that you can see that. Where did I change that? So orange and black, uh, yellow and black. We'll keep it at that because you could just about see it. It's a beautiful radio. It really is. I'm, I'm used to using the buttons, not the screen. Uh, but as you see, your battery levels, what hardware, date, time, alerts. What else you got on here? Your bitmaps for your model. You've got all your widgets. Um, you've got your mixer, your outputs, your telemetry, your RF system, trims, timers, edit model, flight modes. All on the screen. It's all touch screen. And then you've got your home, which is then your aeroplane, which you can edit and change in picture and all your timers and all that sort of stuff. It is a sweet, uh, was it, um, is it was going to be something in the ethos that I would have to get on new receivers? No, no, I did, I tested it on my X10. I needed to upgrade the X10 with a, a module inside the, I won't pretend that I remember what it's called, but it's the IRUM something random module um, that allowed me to put ethos on it um, because the actual module is the actual flash. It's kind of like your hard drive, but it's the flash memory that you actually bootload to. Um, that is in the in your receiver. Um, so I did do a video of me doing it on the X10. I just haven't released it. Um, but it was that if that, that worked, then um, then I'll get the X20, which which has come. Um, you know, there's uh, and it's in the UK. I just love these buttons. You can't really see it, but you know, I mean, little things with me they 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 light up. It's little things. <laughs> it really is. But when you're flying, I mean, you know, I mean, especially I've changed as well with my flying because I'm so. Um, what do you call it? I'm so um, uh, angry pilot you know, rawr, um, that, that I don't, I used to fly like this with this, like a lot of you quad pilots do, um, um, which is fine. These feel butter. These feel. Hi, Nikos. How you doing? Thanks for running in. It's uh, unfortunately, as I'm looking on my little interview board, it's still only me, but you never know. Someone might pop in and say hello. Um, these, these gimbals feel sexy. I mean, I mean, the, the X20 
is also a hall sensor but they're plastic still these are full CNC gimbals and they feel like butter I mean honestly they feel sexy anyway back to sort of what I was talking about so now I've been trying to put it to go on the simulator and I find that I when I'm pinching it's harder for me to sort of go rah rah you know and, and be too violent with the plane yes you can do bits and pieces I know in the in the software um, and change and bits and pieces but where I'm sort of limited there because I mean when you, think, you think about it, when you're flying really you're just doing that aren't you you, you very unless you're sort of like a 3d pilot and or uh, unless you're doing flying a quadcopter then you know obviously you're doing your your wacky stuff I mean I've seen some people that fly and it's like phenomenal what they do how they do it so quickly I don't know but my brain's a bit slow these days so I'm more of a gentle pilot you know float around but honestly if I mean the the, the X20 I and mean, the difference between X20 and X20 is apart from the CNC I think this has got Bluetooth audio on it as well um it's it i think there's not a lot more difference with that uh, to be honest with you i think it's just all about the cnc but um if you don't buy there is as i say there is a new receiver that comes out with this called the um, r8 pro which we'll be looking into uh, looking a bit into that and why it's so special and of course you get the little buttons uh that covers which i like that come across the sticks um but yeah so i mean an x20 will probably cost you a couple of hundred quid so similar sort of price as the x9d x9d plus was really and they went straight out the ballpark with with the x10 and the x12 you know they just they were crazy prices about five six hundred quid when they first come out so but for these to come out in a couple hundred quid you can get them they are in the uk um, and i believe they obviously they're in the states and everywhere else um obviously you're going to see as soon as this weather cleans up you'll you'll see me fly this and because i'm still like on a buddy box thing um, yes, uh, I'll give them the X10 to play with, and uh, they hold them. But it's it's a lovely road. I didn't realise that it's it, that it come with stuff on. So let's um, let's have a quick look here. Uh, where are we? Uh, next page, isn't it? Uh, info. Well, the firmware version is 1.0.2.eu. Now I know for a fact. I believe the release stable version is already dot three or maybe dot four. Um, you can join the forum. Um, the, the Flying Tiger Radio Tray allows you to have full moment on the sticks for pinches. Yeah, I, I, I've been looking into that tray as well. Um, I wanted to get this first to see how it felt, but I, I, I mean, obviously I wear it around my neck. Um, so, but it, it's, it's just, it's so, you know, it's just, yeah, it's, it's fits my hands. I mean, a lot of people that I know, you know, I mean, I still, this, this is the weird thing, is that I still feel comfortable doing this, you know, but doing this, because the, the radio is so light, I'm sorry I haven't got all the specs on this, um, I'm going to try and change the thumbs to a pincher, yeah, I mean, w what it is, EQ, is that w when I'm pinching, I'm doing less movement, I find that I'm not so sort of like crazy on the sticks, that is my biggest problem, even a simulator, you know, I go quick, quick movements and it's like you know you're going to hit the floor um which i've done on a couple of occasions <laughs> but this one is i just got to get my i think it's probably about there i think that's it'd be interesting so you know i can still do bits and pieces out and about that as i say it's just the the module at the back um i'll be interested to see what they come out with or if there's like an expansion that you can use your old modules because i know uh, the old r9 that you got from fr sky um your your mic your thumbs as well yeah your thumbs it's it's i think it's just it's, it's it's preference isn't it it's preference i mean you know i you know i did have a tray radio i think it's the uh eight eight xd or x i don't know whatever the eight was anyway the tray radio from fr sky i tried with that because i thought it'd be other you know i've tried so many things i think it's just i don't know what it is it's like um sometimes i feel like i'm a fish out of water when i'm doing this um, it's you've got the wireless and bits and pieces so it can hook into the your internet and do lots of stuff and update and all that sort of stuff. I mean, search for devices. I mean, I don't know if it's going to search or anything. Well, so I don't, I, I use both left feet. <laughs> if you could do it with your feet, Michael, then wow, I want to see that video, but that'd be pretty cool. I mean, you know, I know some people that unfortunately, um, through injury, um, use their feet for many things. Anyway, it can't, uh, it can't, it can't, uh, it can't find anything. It won't find any devices, will it? But 
Um, yeah, I, it's I, you know I'm probably the worst person to do a, um, a review on this. Probably that's why they didn't give me a free one. But uh, what's that? The sticks. It, yeah, it, it's so the 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 menu. I mean, I can't emphasize. I'm sorry, it's a bit out of focus. It's not. Gonna, I wasn't meant to be talking about this as much today. But it is so intuitive and so easy to do. It just just. Just for even changing the slightest little things, it's there. Your flight modes, your mixers, you know, and and it's it's just easy to do. I, I can't I can't emphasise how good this radio is. No, I'm not sponsored by FR Sky, and no, they didn't get this for free. I bought this with hard earned cash, um, and um, and that was for from Hobby Sport in the UK. Hobby Sport, I think it's Hobby Sport. Um, what can I say? It's a great radio. I mean, everyone's, you know, they like their spectrums and bits and pieces. It's taken them all this time to put their connections here. I mean, I must admit that. I mean, you know, even the X10, you know, you plug in something and you, <clears throat> excuse me, no, the X10 has got it on the side, but some of the bits and pieces on the back. This, this, you know, you're lying it on the floor and you've got all your connections there. Now, uh, presumably there's antennas. Now, I didn't see antennas in the bag unless they're hiding from me. As I say, I haven't undone boxes. This is this is the literally unboxed. I don't know what's in this. What's this? Oh, we got we got we got stuff. What's in the what's in the bag? Is it is it a free thing you can spend a thousand pound? Oh no! Oh, what's that then? That's interesting. What did I buy that I forgot? <laughs> what's this? This is the uh, IFR Sky RM. MX OTA receiver. Ah. Okay, so that's like a little receiver you get as well. Look at that. Uh, which one are we going to do it at? I don't know. This one. That's kind of cool, isn't it? We'll have a look into it. I mean, you know, this is... Uh, this is... Um, I wasn't meant to be talking about this at all. I've got to keep saying that so people don't get the ump with me. But um, This is the R R9 MX is the advanced version of the previous R9MM mini series long range capable receivers equivalent to the size and weight equipped with a robust detachable IPEX1 antenna connector so this is for long range so that's pretty cool I, I think this has come as the bundle you can buy the bundle um, what's that mic I get shakes are bad the trays the pads but your hands are braces yes the stuff in that we're going to go into that but I can't find antennas why can I find antennas? You mean I get all that radio and I don't get antennas? I don't think you get the antennas. Thanks, if I guy. Okay, well, I maybe, I mean, you've got the internal anyway, aerial antenna, but the, you can use these antennas here. So maybe that'd be for the nine mega, 900 megahertz. We've got to look in for that. But, you know, it's all it's all on the web. You know, just Google it. Google the um, X20 or FR Sky X20S. And also Ethos is out there. Um, you know, if you've got uh, if you've got some of the older models, the older sort of transmitters, I'm trying to think what transmitters now lets you do it. But you can put Ethos on it and have a play around. And if you don't like it, then you just change the bootloader and you're back to OpenTX. So, but I love this radio. I think it is sexy i mean i'm not gonna i can't even remember we've got timers there we've got flight modes uh, mixers are done outputs there's all your your funky stuff for your outputs this is your flaps i don't know i don't think that's uh i don't think your flaps now there's nothing's been configured for that that's probably why they're they're, they're boshing about i love that button as well you can have that as your volume button can't you so this is the first time I've looked at this radio, and then obviously you can swipe across to whatever you want. That's what I kind of like, or just hit the dot. You can do that, so that's your, <clears throat> your outputs. RF system, so your 2.4 uh, gigahertz or 900 megahertz. That could be changed. It's all like, you know, it's fantastic. And your foul saves on there. You know, the only registration ID, yeah, I've got to go into that. I'll tell you about that another day. Your trims. Uh, what else you got? Timers on there. What you got on this page? That's your bitmap. Um, you can change your widgets, so you can. It's a bit like OpenTX. You can do your bits and pieces. Then on here you got your model select, which make a new model. Uh, we'll go through that. Your file manager with your bitmaps, your models, 
and all that sort of stuff and your audio alert so you get you know your SD card your main battery and bits and pieces in fact I didn't look at that I'm not sure where the SD card is on this I'll have a look in a minute 24 uh, yep that's the date time it thinks it's January 2000 back in time it is not it's 2021 if you're looking at this video <laughs> display we just went through that because we turned it down because it was way too noise English what other that languages have they got on there oh yeah they got tons of there so we got uh, Chinese is that uh, Sesky, Dutch, right, German, and French and English. Okay. I'm sure you can get up there. Sound and vibrations. Yeah, we just done that one, didn't we? Battery levels. So, um, yep, yeah, shows you all your battery levels on there. Your hardware. So these are all the uh, um, switches. And then you could. It's got a gyro on this. It's got a gyro inside this as well. Um, in the radio. There's something else I've got to tell you about. So, um, ordering tires for my truck. So kind of lurking today. <laughs> cool um yeah it's got a gyro so what you can do on here um is that uh, if you, you could almost i suppose use it as like a head tracker um uh, oh deborah's nearly home so we could be joined by deborah which is great because we love deborah and david they're great they're quadaholics they really are they are flying quads every night they really are they're, they're great people they're lovely people anyway um yes so where was we yes um and gyro um, so what else would you kind of use it? I don't know. It depends. You could use it for lots of stuff, I suppose. I suppose you could use it to fly the plane or whatever. But you know, it it knows it knows when you're doing stuff. So if you want to, you could do something. I don't know. What I don't know. But yeah. So but it's got gyro cable like stuff in there, and that's about it really. That's all you need. So you can see if I get get that there. I'm sorry I can't reach the thing to make it in focus. So I do apologise. That's it. That's all you need to fly a plane or a helicopter or a quad um, and it's it's got special things for gliders it's got lots and lots of lovely lovely stuff so let's um, let's turn that down off I've turned the volume off so she won't hear a second one I'm not sure where the SD card is this will do it's in there so there's the SD card Ooh, right there nice SD card so you need something pokey to poke it out one next to that is the HDMI, and then you have got the um, USB on this one, USB-C, I think it is, um, and uh, the audio out, and then that looks like a DSC port, which obviously you used for joining uh, BuddyBox in, and then you have got the S, S port, so you can uh, use the radio to update your receivers. Yes, receivers. <laughs> and then you've got the HDMI. The HDMI. Now, why didn't they bring out the HDMI with zero latency HDMI? This is so. I mean, we're talking, you know, with um, with with you quad guys, you know, with your with your alien-looking whatever they're called glasses. Um, my brain's gone. Um, zero latency. That is huge. That is huge. So there's a big buzz about it. I mean, I've seen a lot of um, uh, big um, quadcopter guys, um, quad guys that are talking about it. Um, and they're all sort of annoyed, really, that the HD version hasn't come out. Which, you know, I can understand that. I'm going to put that there anyway, so you can watch that while I'm chatting away, if that's a decent -ish thingy. I've got the actual top lights on today, so um, it's a bit crazy. But yeah, I'm not sure about the antennas. I, I don't know if they're for the, just for the 9 megahertz. but if it was like the X10, um, you had uh, internal and external um, antennas or antennae if that's the right word so but yeah I mean as I say I don't use this one I find it very hard and uncomfortable but I will use this uh, but there will be a, a videos coming out on, on how to program this I mean I'm sure everyone with an X20 will be showing you how to program I'm sure there is quite a few for people who have done reviews on this already um, I mean I've been a part of the um, github um, so I've been downloading and bug testing on my X10 uh, in the little time that I've got, but uh, definitely, definitely worth getting a radio. I mean, that's, I don't know if that's upside down for you, isn't it? <laughs> Should we just leave it like that? Because I'll put something under it. There you go. You see that? There you go. So if anyone suddenly starts coming running through the door, um, they can say, oh, what's that piece of sexiness he's got on his desk? So any, any, any questions that I might be able to answer? I don't know how many people are still in the room. Um, Hopefully there's still a couple of you still lurking around because Deborah's going to come around and we'll poke Deborah and see what she's been doing. 
As I say, that Friday feeling, I do apologise. It's now been three Friday feelings I've missed due to me building um, a kitchen, no less. Um, you actually get a USB with this as well, which is pretty cool. I think that is a USB Type-C. It's the same ones as they use on a Mac, I believe. I don't know. Um, but the, the only thing you don't get is the antennae, 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 or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not much questions um, um, today, really. So as I say, this is not going to last long today. I mean, I don't know how long we've been going. I've been rattling on for half an hour. Wow, I do rattle on. <laughs> next week, let's talk about next week, because next week is going to be a huge one. And I keep forgetting that someone's just dinged me. Um, as I say, we've got, uh, we have got Captain Blas. He's back with all his knowledge. Um, I'm really excited about him coming back. It's so nice of him to join Dad's RC Hang on the Saturday Night Live. It really, really is. Um, you know, he's always normally behind the camera and the occasional nitro engine. So it's really good to sit him down and have a good chat. And then we've got Rob from uh, the RC Pilot's Log. I mean, wow. He, he is a man. He's a nitro man as well. And of course, um, you've got Stuart Warren. That's also here next week. So we've got three top, top, top people. Um, and me sitting in the background listening to all the fun stuff. Um, and uh, that is going to be a great one. And we're going to be trying to keep the Nitro going. Because especially when I do start the Spitfire. Which unfortunately I haven't been able to go and see them either. To get my um, exhaust designed. I need to drop off my cowling and uh, fuselage. Um, so yeah. it's uh, it, Honestly doing a kitchen. If you haven't done one don't do one it literally takes over your life when you when you've got when you've got a wife and children are asking you why they haven't got water on on the sink it's it's a bad thing the sink went on today and they've got water they've got a hob and they've got an oven so they can't complain <laughs> there's no there's no um uh, what are tiles on the wall but we won't worry about that they're all in order so but uh i'll be camping next week so i'll be uh, i'll be able to listen in fantastic camping well, i'll tell you what camping i don't know about people how many how many here are from the uk um, but there's an event coming up called wings and wheels um uh, which is uh, in kent in the uk and that and we went we went the year before last because obviously we couldn't go last year and um, we've uh, uh, we've actually uh, this time instead of camping we got uh, you know a camper van on wheels with like a small william bombago whatever they call them uh, which should be really cool but I'll be doing, uh, I'll be trying to do, I mean, I really, 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 really <laughs> would love a thousand subscribers before that show happens. Because then I can go live off my phone. Um, that is, it's, it's a bit like these shows I've been seeing in the US. Um, there's all sorts of planes. There's a quad center. Google it. Wings and Wheels UK. Um, you know, there's, uh, then there's a band in the evening, you know, plenty of beer to be drunk. Um, but during the day, there's some fantastic uh, RC models. All the nitro stuff's there. It, and, of course, all the shops with bits and bobs. I really come back with lots of stuff that I don't need. <laughs> but, hey, you know, it's all good. And, of course, I'll be looking to get a uh, a decent plane from the bargain area. Uh, oh, and Deborah's booting her computer. So we'll grab Deborah and we'll find out what she's been doing and how she's been doing. So, yeah, wings and wheels. So, you know, um, if you haven't subscribed, which I'm sure all you guys have anyway, please do. And give that thumbs up. Do us a favour, give that thumbs up. It does help. Do you... Uh, okay, hang on. Let's, um, let's, I don't think Deborah has the code. Give me a second. I've just got to... Uh, just speak to Deborah on here. And there. If it... Uh, this is quite hard. I really need to do... To, oh. I need to do... Uh, yeah, so I've got to get to Western UK to sort my... Um, here we go. To sort my engine and exhaust out, custom exhaust, for um, for my Spitfire. There we go. So I'll just send her a code so then she hopefully can join us. So yeah, so um, as I say, if you saw uh, last week's video, which I'm sure you did. Hey Roach Coach, how are you doing buddy? Oh wow, thanks for turning up buddy. As I say, um, it's just been a quickie this evening really, because uh, mainly because I didn't do the Friday night, the Friday feeling. Uh, for a couple of weeks now and we're just going to catch up with uh, Deborah and David which are on the missing list at the moment but we've been talking about the X20S the FR Sky Radio that has finally come through my door uh, which I'll be doing a lot of videos about and this will be my go-to radio um, it's, it could be that uh, uh, you know that we might be giving away my X9D Plus 
I don't need it. So it might help a young person um, to, uh, to to learn to fly. But yeah, we'll see that. That'll be a, probably a couple of shows down the road. But I, I, I've got my X10 and I've got this. And if I'm really in trouble, then I've got my 8X, whatever it's called, which is a, a little tray radio. So yeah, it's a, it's a great one. And it's good for your helis as well. They do have a helicopter set up in here as well. Still booting. She's still booting, Deborah. We do love Deborah, so we we'll wait for Deborah. Um, I don't know. Let's turn it on. It's, I've turned it down because I can't stand the beeping noise. Um, it's just, don't worry about it. Yes, we know that fail save's not done. Now, I know is on here. If I do, uh, where is it? Where is it? La da 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 da. Where is it? New model. Uh, where is it? So, is it? Where is it gone? See, I'm, I'm, as I say, I'm useless. There we go. Is it edit model? No. Look at that. I can't even make a new model because I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> I'm crap. It's all good. You got to have the bad with the with the good, the good bad, because it says around here somewhere. Model selectors. Oh, here we go. Plus. There you go. Right. So I. This is not going to be in focus unless I do it on. This one, that would be in focus. And there you go. You've got. I think you've got. If it may not be in focus, as I say, I wasn't really meant to do this today. Can it? Would it get in focus if I do it on here? Hang on. Where's it? Where we go? Way. Here we. Here we go. Here we go. Look. Focus. Just about. Where we go? This is quite a hard when you're backwards. So you've got an aeroplane glider, heli, and multi quarter, and obviously an other. What would an other be? Oh look, I think so. Oh look, it's going through the bits and pieces. Other. What would be another? Just an engine? Just a yank and bank? I don't know. But you see you go through there, your flaps and your rudders and picture and name. It is a lovely... Let's go, I haven't, let's go on heli. What does heli do? Fly bar... What's it? Fly barless. Roach coach, no. What's it? Swash plate. H4, I don't know. I don't do helicopters. But anyway, it does all that sort of... You can see that, whatever it is. I, you'll know what AT3 is, 8-4, eight eight, whatever. I don't know. It's a helicopter. It does helicopters. So, Roach Coach would be happy with that. Glider, what have we got on glider? What's it sound glider? Flaps, no flaps, ailerons, traditional elevator rudder. Well, it's about the same, really, I suppose. What's it say on the multi-quadcopter? Look at that. I th you're not seeing this, are you? And I really apologise because it's. I've got to stop apologising because I won't see it. There we go. So you know, you've got channel, you've got throttle, your pitch and roll. So you can sort that out. So you can literally make a model as quick as. It's like you know, it's got all like the uh, the buttons and bits and pieces that, and the logic switches and all that sort of lovely stuff that you're used to on uh, OpenTX. Configurations of the swash plate. I could pretend, Roach Coach, that I know what you're talking about, but I don't. But okay, it's whatever plate maybe is on the, yeah, the, look at that, my lights have gone super bright, what the hell. <laughs> Easy, Tigress, what's going on, let's just wind that back, I don't know why it's done that, probably because it's the camera's seeing something, there you go, I don't know. So yeah, so that is the um, lovely, lovely FR Sky, we're going to keep it on there because obviously people that come in can see it. Configuration of the, of the swash plate. Yeah, it's a, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but helicopters scare the crap out of me. I don't know why, because I absolutely love them, and they do some awesome, awesome RC models of helicopters. Uh, one of my favourite ones is the is the Sea King helicopter, uh, which is like the big bulbous nose thing, um, which is a lovely, and of course the Apache, um, and some other really, really cool helicopters. But I think what it is, I don't know what it is, is that where the blades are obviously going this way round, you think if there's a problem and it comes apart, that blade's coming straight for you. I think if I, if I, uh, what's that? Well, Chris, if you uh, are not careful, then you can kill you. Yes. Yes, it could kill you very, very quickly. Well, any plane could, but a helicopter. I mean, wow. I mean, you know, there's so many things that, that yeah. I tried a helicopter on, uh, on, on the computer software. Yeah. Uh, we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it, yeah, I would have died. Yes, I would have died. At least with a plane, you know, you can make it go somewhere. Um, I mean, only if you lose total control, and it just so happens it's coming for you, 
uh, then it would give you a very short haircut. Oh, Deborah's joining. Deborah's joining. Here we go. Right, hang on. Guest is in the green room. Okay, let's um, now let's uh, let's let's um, let's hang on. I can do this. I'm in preview mode now. I can do this now. Where is if I do that one, and then I do that one, and do that one, and then do that one, and then if I go publish. Deborah, how you doing? I can't. Hang on. I've got to put me 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 super huge 1970s style headphones back on. Can I hear you now? Have I muted you? Yes. Will I mute? Can you hear me now, Deborah? You can hear me, but I can't hear you. Uh, muted in sound levels. Hang on, let's get Deborah going. Let's get Deborah going. It says it's not muted. Oh, muted. I'm muted. Mute. I'm not sure why it's, a, it's it's being a bit of a, a bit of a pickle. Let's go. Let's go to. Uh, I think uh, we've got one here. There we go. Let me just check. I'm gonna do this live on the fly because we're hardcore like that. There we go. Right, Debs. There we go. Can you hear me now, Deborah? Can I hear you? You can hear me, but I can't hear you. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear me. I don't know why. Uh, no, I don't know why you're muted. This is good, isn't it? Got to get it go. Okay, Shadow, thanks for popping by, Eric. I really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, of course, we're missing you because uh, you make everything go okay. I don't know why interview mode has. Um, why won't you talk to me? Will I mute? Well, if it's going to... Ah, oh, ah, oh, publish. Hey, there she is. That's better. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. <laughs> Loud and clear. <laughs> Deborah, you're back. We was missing you. Excellent. Uh, David's gone gone missing. I was all on my own. I was, you know, I was about to cry and everything, but... Oh, no. Yeah, well, I wouldn't. Don't do that. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't cry on live. <laughs> Maybe. I'm a little bit there. How have you been doing? Anyway? You've probably we... got something to unbox. No, we've unboxed it. Oh, we've I missed unboxed it. it. You missed it. You missed it. The X20S. Oh, really nice. Oh, and the nice S day. stands for sexy. I've decided. The S stands for sexy. <laughs> this is this is all all CNC gimbals, whole sensors, all singing, all dancing ethos. As I say, you're... It, I will sprint with. Looks the business. Oh, it looks the business. As, a, as I said, I remember Tess saying, you know, uh, a, a, a very, very early days, it's a, a man with all the toys but no clue or something. You're totally right. Still ain't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. You know, we'll bring this down the field so you'll see it anyway. So we're, we're going. Yeah, like it. looks good. Uh, oh, it's, it's brilliant. And it does quads on here so easy. Save the crime for when you crash. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, Rose Coach, I, I don't think I would cry. I, I think I would bit uh, yeah, I think I'd be a bit peed off, especially if it was something like the Mig, the Mig Twenty Nine that we've still got to build. That's it. All the gear, no idea. There we go. I'm gonna have to <laughs> look at this Taz. Look, I love him. Yeah, look, there we go. Let's put that there. All the gear and no idea. You're damn right, mate. I've still got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's a good laugh. <laughs> I do do stuff, don't I, Deborah? It's just that I, you know, it's just been a bit mad this last year, isn't it, with all the COVID? I can't, I can't help but feel it should be all the gear and your wife's got no idea how much it cost. Well, yeah, well, well, don't tell her that, no, don't tell her. Let's just brighten you up a bit. Oh, it's this cat in shop. Well, <laughs> she, see yeah, one she, of the kittens. She, she, uh, she, yeah, she doesn't, uh, yeah, it costs. Shh. There's another one over there as well. Oh, it's hovering. Hovering. You're going to come over. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We, we like cats. I never quite just cuss like a sailor. Yes, you're right, Roach Coach. I, I think I would. Uh, I mean, I think if my um, tiger moth crashed, I think I would literally throw my rattle out the pram. You would, you would. I would have more beeps than than a city drive. I really would. I, I would, I would cuss. Yes, I would. Um, my MiG twenty nine to build that. In fact, I think the only player I wouldn't really my. I don't know. I don't, we'll see. Hopefully, I mean, Deborah. I mean, obviously, you've been uh, using some of the days that we've had uh, a good weather uh, flying with David and stuff, all your quads and stuff. We've been having some fun. But I mean, what's going on with the weather this week and next week? We don't know actually. It was lovely last night. Had a bit of a fly around in the trees last night. It was good fun. 
All right, cool, cool. Eddie, have you got anything you're playing around with or new or? Uh, not really. No, still flying Tommy's quad um, right. on Kiss. Okay. And um, the six-inch rooster, still flying that. Um, but it was really good fun. Really good fun flying around a sort of course that we set up. Yeah, I mean, aren't you uh, aren't you flying at uh, a paintball park? Red Red Alert, is it called? Yeah, that's Red, it. Yeah. Red, uh, wow. I, I mean, I don't know where that is, but uh, it's it must be near you Thatcham. guys. But is it Thatcham? Is it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So, okay. Well, that's doable for me then. I could get there and and crash. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. I, oh, yeah. I, I was thinking actually of Red Alert from my truck <laughs> that you can't see. It's over here. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not flying, but it's the only thing I could use at the there's moment. plenty of room for that and there's tracks through the trees you need to get fpv on it that's what you need yes even if you just stuck a camera on the top well i need to, yes i mean it, i mean as i say we got you know a taz i mean you know i, I would be fpv and all over the place is that i have a problem that you know is my pip or whatever it's called i all haven't right. found glasses have i that uh that i can see as like one uh, i mean even it doesn't I've really got, matter oh it does well, I mean, what what happens if you don't have that right is that you just lose the corners, the edges. Oh, is it? If you see what I mean. Well, I've got these, okay? These are my little okay. uh, spectacles that I use when I'm uh, doing stuff up close and personal. Uh, now, these as well, they go right... They're, they're quite good. They've got like a little pip control thing going on. I don't know how you do it now, but anyway. Yeah. Um, and even these, I have to push together like that. Where is it? Like that. Yeah, just to see one eyeball thing. So, and you know, uh, there's a lot of people who says you know use the horse trough things, you know, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, but then my glasses come into it. You know, this is what happens when you're, you know, you're blind. Well, you can, with the um, DJI, well, the version one goggles that I've got, um, I can wear my specs uh, under the goggles if I want to. Uh, but, I don't, to be honest, but because my vision just. Yeah, okay. it's, I can't. The trouble is, Deborah, it's like, you know, I can read when I read, right? Okay, this is, I don't, you can't really, can you see? Because I'm back, I'm backwards. <laughs> I'm, here we go. Uh, right, so here we go. No, right, there we go. If I move there, right, okay. Right, I can read that right there, yeah? You can see that? If I'm off screen. Mm -hmm. There we go. There looks like a bunch of ants. Yeah. I can read that. So, and if I take my glasses off, <laughs> ants. <laughs> so you know, it's it's the, it's the trouble. Oh, there you are. Right, okay. Well, so I have uh, head head play goggles, and they are great for glasses. Head play goggles. We'll have to look into that. Um, yeah. You know, I'm gonna we're gonna Google that, Roach Coach. I'm gonna give that a go because you know, obviously, David. Oh, what's that? Oculus Quest Two. Oh, hello. That's yeah, VR I... goggles. Oh, VR right. goggles. I mean, obviously, they're no good for flying FPV, but um, you, you have a bit of fun. Yeah. My my my, my middle son um, is 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 into that. It's quite. I find it quite funny watching him. He's up in his bedroom, <laughs> and uh, it's like you can stand there. You won't know you're there, and like he's like you know, walking about and yeah. also, very funny. Very funny. It's very it? odd. It's, it's uh, very uh, odd because you've got that play area, haven't you? You've got well, a, you've got a sort of an area that you can play in, and if you if you press if you move your hand outside the play area, you get this sort of barrier of crosses appear in the screen. Oh really? And you can sort of yeah. And um, I was playing some game at Christmas when I got these things, and I was reaching through to try and pick something up on the ground. And I ended up with my hand inside the Christmas tree. As you do. <laughs> it's just As... a bit odd. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I said, oh, what's that? Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that would be funny. That would be funny. Yeah. But uh, no, I say, we, as I say, you know, David and Deborah have both offered uh, their assistance. I mean, David um, has, has built my quad that I've not even seen yet. I've not been around there and picked it up. My little stingy, not stingy, is it? What one did he build? No, there? you've got some. Um... Uh, what was the other one? I can't remember what it's called now. Is it an iFlight or something? iFlight, an yes, iFlight? the iFlight, yeah. yeah. So I've, that's all nice. fully built. And obviously he beefed up my um, uh, my other quad, my Cine Whoop. 
Um, it's just, yeah. unfortunately, the kitchen has taken over my life. Um, as as you saw, you saw a picture of it the other day. It's now got a sink, Deborah, and a hob. Yeah, we're all, all singing, That's all dancing now. Water coming out the tap, yeah, not, not the fittings, <laughs> which I was, you know, got, is it, no, it's just working. Was uh, road coach? The head plays uh, have like a seven-inch screen. Here we go. Let's stick okay. I can stick these up now. I'm not talking about the radio. Um, I'll go, okay, I'll go look at it. I mean, the last thing I want to do is uh, what's this, road coach? What's this? Uh, and they do have a connection for HDMI. Now, this is the annoying thing, Deborah. I was saying that, that, that this is the X20S. Uh, because uh, last time I got an X10 and not the X10S. And I wished I got the X, whatever it is, the X10S. This one, <laughs> excuse me, uh, this one here, where are you? There, it's got there an HDMI outlet. Now, they're, build, they're doing the X20 HD which has zero latency HD, uh, which you can hook up for your FPV and stuff. Um, and, you know, there's, there's a lot of controversy at the moment with, uh, with with people like yourselves and stuff, if it's actually going to be any good. So we'll have to wait and see that anyway. But So is there a little screen on the front then? Yeah. I mean, you're not just seeing it yet. See, you're going to have to watch the video afterwards. I'll show you the screen. Oh, nice. there, oh, wait, oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. And it does quads and stuff. The only thing, as I say, that uh, that I don't like is, do you know I've got the, uh, what is on my iFlight? Oh, God, my brain today. Tip tab. I think you'd struggle to fly a quad on that, to be honest, on that screen. Oh, you've got a plug-in module as well, have you? Yeah, but look how small it is. It's, so my R9 and my TBS won't fit in there. No. So, I don't no. know. We'll see. Well, we're, we're, you know, we're going to have a play. I, 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 yeah. Quad on that screen, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you, you, when you think about it, when you're when you're a lot of uh, Mavericks and stuff, that's only like a small screen, isn't it? Like a like a phone screen. Yeah, I think that if you're flying an FPV quad on Acro, you know, there's no, you don't really hover. There's no stability as such. You're flying it 100% of the time. Right. Whereas on a, a Mavic or something like that, you can just let go and it'll just hover and hold position. So, um, I mean, that screen would be ideal for like an aircraft, I think, if you've got FPV on a fixed wing, because then you're flying it line of sight and you're glancing down every now and again at the screen to see what the FPV feed looks like. But if, as long as you know where the plane is in the sky, you can always go back line of sight. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, like Dom... It'd be worth it? to go, but I, I suspect... I think you're more, it's more immersive if you have the goggles on for, for flying a quad. Well, we'll, we'll um, find some goggles. I mean, the, the annoying thing is, is that where obviously lockdown happened, there wasn't any trade shows um, for goggles no, and stuff. to um, try stuff out. Yeah, because yeah. I, I don't want to buy sort of like a two, three hundred pound goggles and they don't work. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I have um, a problem, like we, with my Fat Shark goggles, the um, pupil distance, hmm. um, I can adjust that. But I still find that you you get like big netting in, in the corners. Um, if you've set the middle correct, sometimes right. you can't quite you can't quite see the edges. And I find I'm moving the goggles around on my face a little bit to try and to see some of the on-screen um, head-up display information. But it's not the end of the world. I mean, you could fly it even if you only had one eye, if you see what I mean, because it's not stereo. Well, we are it's not about a stereo me. image. It's still. I can't even fly a paper airplane, let alone anything else. But uh, you'll be fine. Yeah, be yeah. Fine. As I say, well, as I say, you know, guys, uh, um, um, uh, like you know, everyone that's uh, that's still on here tonight, um, six yeah. of us, six, six, just hanging about. Um, flying will become. It's just the weather in the UK is shocking. Um, you know, I'm ready to rock and roll on so many planes, and I'm going to add them all to this. Um, from my trainers to the Corsair that's just on the side here to all these lovely things that's you know made in the city and of course the quads yeah. as well so um, have you got in amongst all the stuff you've got have you got um, two radios that you could buddy box yeah I mean I've got the X10 I've still got the X10 which has got ethos on it that is the reason okay. why um, I put ethos on the X10 first of all to make sure I could hook up to all my old receivers um, the yeah. only problem is, is that uh, they've got to be upgraded. So you, you know, you can't, 
use them on on any other thing. Uh, what's 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 where it goes? I started out with Fat Shark, and I will never go back unless the high definition version. Mm. Yeah. I've I've got some Fat Shark. I don't know if I can get it out because it's all. Uh, let's see if I can get it out. No, no, it's all go. Oh dear, no, let's not get it out. We'll get it out. Another <laughs> quarterholics. Yeah, I've got some Fat Sharks. Hey, here he is, Sean. How you, buddy? How you doing? It's, I, I really appreciate everyone, to, uh, you know, coming along. You know, obviously random shows. I know everyone's going to be massively coming next week because we've got uh, Captain Blas again and and Stuart Warren and uh, Rob from RC Pilots Log. So tomorrow, next Saturday is going to be huge. Um, it's a wealth of learning. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming along. Um, it's it's great. Unfortunately, David uh, couldn't be with us this evening uh, because Qualaholics is all about David and Deborah because they are. <laughs> especially david he's got all the knowledge oh it's not just that it's not just that david's quite funny actually he's a, uh he says he's if he doesn't get a flight a day he gets super grumpy uh you know a bit like if you're an alcoholic you know you don't get a beer that's it david's the same isn't he if you can't fly they oh mate you you, you yeah you wouldn't like him when he's angry <laughs> but uh yeah and he has got a wealth of knowledge i mean i've still got to do my exams and that's i just haven't got time you know the the advanced exams that you've got everyone to do, which is brilliant, and I've even paid for. So um, time has been really against me. It really has, and uh, unfortunately mm. now I'm kind of you know it's a bit of tiling to do and all that sort of stuff. But and the weather is crap, absolutely crap. I think well, tomorrow's the time to do all the tiling, Chris. Well, Get I've got all that out of the way. I've got to wait till they come. Slap it up this weekend. <laughs> I've got to wait till they come. <laughs> I haven't got them yet. I've had to order them. So God knows when they're coming. But as I say, next Friday, I've you know I've got to finish this this lovely, lovely uh, um, model, the Corsair, and get that ready. Uh, what's Roach Coach saying? Roach Coach is saying to be able to do very little FPV flying anymore. I'm getting too old, and it makes me drunk. Ah, now uh. I've got a thing about that. I have sea sickness or air sickness or what? Not air sickness, motion sickness. Now, if I, sickness, yeah, if yeah. I sit backwards on a train, so you know your train's going forward. If I sit on the backward yeah. seat, give it two stops, and I'm <laughs> sick as a dog. I also really? got this really, yeah, I've also got this really weird thing that if ever, if I'm in a room and it's got a slight incline, and I mean a slight incline, I'll start sweating because my body, in, inner ear thinks there's something going on. Um, right. It's it's something weird, something weird. But but. Does it happen when I FPV? Yes, it does a little bit. But how do I get out of it? I take air sickness pills. You take a vertigo pills, sorry, about okay. half hour before, right as rain. And make sure you take two. I mean, I shouldn't okay. tell you to take anything. You know, don't, don't, you know, I'm not a doctor. I must say this now before I get in trouble. I'm not a doctor, but look into it. Ask a doctor. Um, and I found that if you take one pill, you you start sweating because you don't feel sick, but you're sweating because you're, your body knows that something's not quite right. You know, you're not wherever you are. You take two and you're right as rain and you don't feel sick and everything. And I've tested it out on even sitting backwards in a train. So there's a way around it. If you love FPV, which a lot of people do. I mean, Dom from Essential RC with Jason, they are FPV and all their Spitfires. And I believe they FPV'd an FMS plane the other day uh, with head tracking. And it's, I, I want some of that. I really want some of that. <laughs> So, but yeah, uh, yeah, Roach Coach, don't. I'm not a doctor, mate. Okay, I did tell you to take pills, <laughs> okay, but speak to your doctor, uh, and say that uh, you know you've got uh, your vertigo and you want some pills. So they sort it out for you. I was like that playing on Oculus Quest 2. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Deborah plays Oculus oh, Quest. Goodness. Well, you know, just speak to your doctor and ask him that you, you suffer with that, and it's something to do with your inner ear and uh. Your brain signals from your feet and in your ear. I don't know something. You look into it. It's quite interesting as it goes. Mm. Uh, what's that? I cannot watch any freestyle FPV on TV because it does the same thing. Um, <clears throat> I am the sort of person that if you're watching a movie and they had that spinning camera, you know, where they're spinning around one person, I have to stop watching it because it's like, oh, I'm going to feel ill, <laughs> which is really sad. It's so sad. I've never been thought part, Chris. Um, I it's that's anything that's centrifugal, if that's the right word, is fine because yeah. you can concentrate on one spot. Um, roller coasters, absolutely fine. 
things that go upside down i tend to stick away from but i i am a uh what's it what's the what's the word for it adrenaline junkie i i do like it i do like the old uh, roller coasters you know that scare the hell out you you know but, yeah uh, <laughs> yeah what's that what's that yeah uh, what's that uh, oh yeah that too i cannot take it isn't it crazy that you know that all this wonderful stuff and we get a silly little sickness thing yeah uh, you know it's, a, it's, a, it's crazy isn't it really um obviously deborah doesn't suffer from that and nor does david i mean some of their well, flying which is fantastic i'll tell you what when you've got the goggles on and you're stood you're stood unsupported it's a bit odd if you know what i mean you're stood there and you're watching stuff in the goggles you're flying um sometimes i would rather lean against something if you know what i mean so that i didn't have to worry about standing up well a lot of people <laughs> sit down and fly don't they uh Some do, yeah yeah because true. then it, it, your brain knows you're sitting down and and then your brain forgets about the feet your balance yeah. um and it, you, then you've just got your middle ear so sometimes that helps as well but um yeah was that was uh, i had to um so i had to eyeglasses. turn around last night I had to turn through 180 degrees whilst flying to get the antennas to point to where I was. All right. And I, because I wasn't holding on or leaning against something, I found that really hard. If you see yeah. what I mean, trying to fly and turn at the same time. Yeah, Roach Coach is just saying here that he has to sit down and fly. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, well, hopefully I'll be able to be doing all this sort of stuff, and we'll do a video on it one day as well. So I'll either throw up or. <laughs> <laughs> it'll work so you, know, you wouldn't want to see me try that this is good what's that what's that sean saying i get sick when i take my smash plane back home and explain to the wife it wasn't my fault <laughs> the cb radio well this is it you know you, you go to the flying field uh you know you uh you always take a black bag with you just in case you're coming home with pieces but hopefully not i mean you know it does happen and you know i've crashed two planes i think uh my rights or whatever and that was with buddy box um would you uh, do you want to explain how that happened do you, uh, no. i was i was well i think um i think i was flying too low i think on that one if you can that remember one. that often happens when you hit the ground yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i think what it was is that uh what happened is that uh keith was uh, buddy boxing me at the time and uh I was just flying too low and I think where I suddenly where I had this where I'm sort of quick on it um, it didn't have time to recover and it hit the ground um, the other one what was the other crash for that was my what for that was that was quite spectacular I don't know I think I mean I still am a great believer that on the left hand side of the runway at our field uh, is a dead zone or or something Oh, you mean like dead radio mm. or like the killing zone? The for kills, yeah, the kill zone. It could be, it could be the way my, oh, look at that. That Okay, that that is super cute. Go on, is it he, she? That's gone. That's a she. She's, it... um, that's Daphne. Daphne, oh, what a lovely name. Daphne, how old is Daphne? Um, uh, about eight months, something like that. And, um, and that's Velma. In the Velma. corner there. Oh, Velma, Velma looks grumpy. Well, she's alright. Sure. She's she's wearing a rolled up roll roll neck sweater. Because they're named after the Scooby Doo characters. Yep, yeah, I I just guessed that. I, I did guess that. <laughs> My last one was a servo lock straight into the ground. Oh, that's not good. I mean, no, yeah. No, I mean, no, it's, yeah. as I say, I mean, we, we hear so many. I mean, going on talking about fixed wing now. I mean, we hear so many horror stories about servos. Even the MiG-29 that cost you super bucks has servo problems. Uh, I mean, my Misha Smith had servo problems on the flaps. I did change them to, for servos that obviously you didn't film and stuff, but ready to fly. So that's that's the biggest all as well. I mean, we see so many uh, 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 crazy things on there. One thing that was quite good, and Keith was a hero on one of it, which was the Riot V2 again. Is the propeller? I don't know if you remember the propeller span off in in the air. I don't know if it was there. Yeah, it was uh, one of our uh, barbecue days, and uh, yeah, the propeller just span off. Obviously, not on too tight, and he managed to land it. He managed to glide and land the uh, the right, okay. which was quite oh, yeah. brilliant. Um, but yeah, so but uh, that's I had, stick basically. It did stick, yeah. Yeah. So you know, but uh, obviously, 
you know I, I don't you know I want to fly the uh, the nice planes that I've got myself so it's only for me to blame if I crash because obviously yeah. if I'm buddy boxing for somebody I will blame them <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> no no no, uh, no 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 I don't I don't, I don't blame Keith at all I really appreciate his time that he gives me but anyway it was just a quick one tonight uh, Deborah, but I'm, I'm glad you came because it's it's so okay. nice to see you. I mean, I missed you both, uh, you guys. Uh, you know, obviously David as well, which is a shame. Um, uh, it's to say the um, the kitchen of doom has uh, has been has been, <laughs> has been has been taken over my channel. So, I mean, so anyway, so uh, thanks everyone for for joining. Hit that like if you haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe and tell everyone to subscribe because um, you know we want to get past a thousand. Because when I get a thousand. I can stream off my phone, and we're going to Wings and Wheels this year. I don't know if you're going, Deborah. Are you at all? Oh, Wings, yeah. Wings I, and Wheels. I saw the advert. I haven't um, looked to see when it is. Actually, what date is it? It's June the twenty fifth and sixth, I think. At. Yeah, the it's, best, is it? It's uh, East, uh, West Weald in in Kent. Oh, okay. So okay. it's uh, we're we're going anyway. So a quick uh, roach coach. What's he saying? I had a satellite receiver wire short out last time. One went in good thing as well as I broke the rudder. Uh, it is so easy to, to do it. I mean, the, the uh, my cub, my navy cub that I loved, uh, that had um, that had its um, elevators. Yeah, the elevator, the horizontal. Excuse me, uh, that broke. But anyway, next week. So next week is another nitro show, and hopefully the week after we'll grab Deborah. And hopefully David, again, for the Qualaholics. But next week is the Nitro uh, show. Uh, we have got we have got Roy, Rob, sorry, Rob, from the RC Pilots Log. And we have got Stuart Warren. And, of course, the great Captain Blas from the Petronic Brothers uh, joining us next week. To, and uh, basically, we, we're not going to go through, uh, show us your engine and bits and pieces. I'm going to actually be a good host. And I've got lots of questions for them, uh, for each of them. So if you want to ask any of these guys um, about stuff, then uh, make sure you're here. Western Park for me in September. Yes, yes, Western Park. There was a reason I couldn't go to Western Park, I think. Or could or not. I don't know. It could be a Western Park, could be. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. What's that weekend? What's left of it? Yes, what's left of it? Uh, I mean, it's apparently it's not raining tomorrow. But uh, I've got it uh, uh, at my daughter's. She's just moved. So, yeah, another thing. So something out up there doesn't, there. Want, just kitchen, doesn't does want me she? to fly. Uh, I've got she doesn't want a new kitchen. No, 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 no. I'm, okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do a kitchen anymore. I'm scarred for life. Unless someone wants to pay me like four thousand pounds, then I might think about it. But I, I'll tell you what: living in a house and doing the kitchen at the same time and working—it's a bad yeah. mix. It's a bad oh, mix. But well. listen, thanks for everyone for popping by. Um, I'm sorry that uh, the Friday feeling has been missed for three weeks now. Um, I do apologise. I know you're waiting to see the Corsair build and the Spitfire build, and uh, there's some other things that I've got. Even the MIG, the MIG is sitting down there ready to be built. We've got tons of upgrades for it and everything else. And my truck, my RC truck. I've got LEDs, I've got aluminum or aluminium bars, I've got shocks, <laughs> I've got you name it, tons of stuff. I said, it's time to do it. It's, I, I, yeah, I, I think I take a week off, but we, I want to take a week off to fly. So. This is Deborah. Thanks for you and the cats for joining us today, and uh, thanks for <laughs> everyone. Nice. And oh, that's, I love cats. I love. Them. Uh, and thanks for everyone to pop in by. So, uh, if you can fly, be safe and have fun. If not, we'll see you here next Saturday night. I uh, will see you for the Friday feeling, but after that, for the Saturday, for the next Saturday night live with all these wonderful guests. Um, oh, it was that. How's the engine going? Uh, just quickly, I haven't been there. <laughs> I haven't had time to go and take my. Uh, my cow and my fuselage, my Spitfire, for them to take measurements. It has been that busy. That was meant to be a Friday, so maybe I'll get there next Friday. But it will happen. Um, but yeah. So anyway, see you later. Thanks for popping by. Thanks all from my heart. See you later. Bye bye. Bye.